Hi, I'm Delusion Seller. I'm going to start a brand new video series. Um, it's going to be based on Bible truth. And if you are offended by the Bible, I encourage you to watch some of my other videos. If you are tolerant of the Bible, whether or not you're a Christian or you agree with everything in it, I encourage you to watch it because, um, to watch the video. Because there's going to be a lot of very um, crucial information here. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because several Christians have approached me and asked me, you know, how do we reach the people out there who are married to narcissists and staying in the marriages, who are dealing with narcissistic ministers, narcissistic church people, um, just narcissists in general. And what does the Bible have to say about it? Because a lot of people will quote the Bible as saying, you know, love one another. You have to put up with all this stuff and just pray through it and pray for the people and forgive them and etc. And there's a place for forgiveness. There's definitely a place for prayer. But I want to give a little bit more, uh, a little bit of a different view based on my personal belief. You don't have to agree with me. And honestly, I really believe there's no two Christians on the face of the planet that agree on every single thing or believe the same thing exactly the same way. So if you do have an issue with me and what I teach or share, please feel free to write me. I will write you back. Um, Delusion to speller at gmail.com. Otherwise, let's not use the uh, forum area of the YouTube channel to start bickering and fighting and all of that nasty drama that nobody really wants. Okay, that having been said, I want to kind of explain. What I did was I went from A to Z in my concordance. Well, actually, I just started in the A today. I'm going to be going from A to Z. Talking about um, what the Bible has to say about toxic people, controlling people, how we are to react to people that um, are not following scripture and are not treating us in a way that we believe God would want them to treat us, etc. The Bible is very definite on some things, and a lot of Christians like to gloss over that in favor of the love, love type of message. And I am the type of person that does not believe that God loves everybody. I'm sorry if you disagree with me, that's okay. Um, I believe that God wants to have everybody close to him and wants to love everybody, but he does not consider everybody his children, and he does not consider everybody worthy of love in and of who they are and what they do, in other words. Um, what I mean by that is I am not one of these types of Christians or people, if you want to call it that, um, who believes that no matter what anybody does to you, you have to put up with it and just pray for them. No matter what anybody does to you, um, it's your duty as a Christian to suffer. So just stay there and turn the other cheek. You know, um, I think some things in the Bible get taken out of context in favor of the abusers that use them that way. And I'm tired of it. So that's why I'm making this video. I think you'll understand a little bit more where I'm coming from as time goes on. Because for me to make a blanket statement of God doesn't love everybody, that's scary to a lot of people. Because you might be an abuse victim and feel like, well, I thought God was the one person that loved me. I'm not really addressing that to you. I'm addressing that to people that are um, evil, basically. Evildoers that purposely do evil, have no intentions of changing, and never do. I don't believe God loves those people. If he did, he would not be sending them to hell, and I do believe God sends people to hell, which will also, I'm sure, bring a lot of comments to me. And, again, that's fine. Address me in private. Um, I'll try my best to be respectful and tactful to you, no matter whether you agree with me or not. So just know that ahead of time. Obviously, this is just an intro video, and I want you to know what I'm about here. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to try to keep these videos relatively short, within 5 to 10 minutes, so that you don't lose concentration and interest in them. Stay tuned, and I will be starting with the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.